the prompt asks, what is the value of the absolute value of x? Statement number one says that x equals negative the absolute value of x. And so, of course, the only way that's going to happen if x is a negative number. For example, if we take abs absolute negative the absolute value of negative 3, that would be negative of positive 3, which equals negative 3. So statement number one tells us that x is negative, but it does not give us information to evaluate the particular value of the absolute value of x. So by itself, statement number one is insufficient. Now forget statement number one. Let's just look at statement number two in isolation. If x squared equals four, what's the value of x? Now here, we have to be very careful. You, you might be tempted just to take a square root and say x equals two, but you have to remember, whenever you take the square root of a variable, you need to include the plus or minus. So x equals plus or minus 2. The reason is that positive 2 squared is positive 4, but also negative 2 squared is positive 4. So there are two values for x. So knowing that x squared equals 4 does not uniquely determine x, but what's interesting is that if we take the absolute value of either one of these, we get 2. So we can determine uniquely the absolute value of x. So statement number two by itself is sufficient. Well, if A is not sufficient and B is sufficient, we know this is answer choice B.